everyone, Amy Love here, and I wanted to share with you another element that I am putting in my um, self-care packages that I'm making for Christmas this year. And I thought since everything basically is having a rose theme, that I would make some lovely little sachets um, to put in their, their boxes. And they turned out really cute. I just think they are adorable. So let me show you how easy they are to make. Right, so I started by making myself a template on some um, cardstock, and I just used a bowl, and my circle ends up being about 10 inches, 10 inches round. And so I used the template to cut out um, circles of tulle and then circles of lace. So the tulle kind of helps to hold the roses in because uh, if you just use lace, you're going to have a big mess, but you kind of have a mess anyway <laughs> with these dried flowers. So, But I like for you to be able to see the roses through. I just think that is so very pretty. Um, so what I'm going to do now is make sure that you have enough thread on your needle to uh, sew around or, you know, you're going to be in trouble. And that's what we're going to do. So I've laid uh, the lace right side um, down and then I put my piece of uh, tulle on top of that. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to come in about an inch. Um, so that way you have um, a, some nice parts still sticking up. You have a nice uh, length of material at the top. So I'm going to come in about an inch or an inch and a half. It's up to you. Or you could even go in two inches and have a lot more at the top. Totally up to you. So. I'm guessing about an inch because it really doesn't matter. And first I'm going to do um, a little lock stitch, which always goes up the tool, so I'm going to hold the tool down. And I'm going to bring this through, but then I am going to catch it. And I'm going to get my needle through so that I catch the knot. And then I'm going to pull through the knot. Okay. So that is how I lock the stitch down. And now I'm going to readjust my tool, pull that. And now we're just going to do a, a running stitch all the way through about an inch to an inch and a half in. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to kind of make long stitches. That's why I like to use a really long needle to do this. And I'm just going to in and out is all you're doing, in and out, and you're gathering up the tool and the lace, so make sure you're going through both layers. And I'm just going to gather that up on this very long needle. And then, you know, every once in a while, I'm going to go ahead and pull, pull that through, you know, and I'm still giving myself all the way around that inch um, oh, seam allowance, if you will, I guess. That's what we'll call it. Sure. And so we're just going to keep doing this all the way around, making sure we're going through the lace and the tool at the same time. Okay. These just are make such beautiful gifts. And really, you can use any dried flower you want to. It's just I am doing some rose theme gift boxes this year, so I'm using roses. You could use any flowers or herbal combination. <laughs> but these are really nice. So I'm going to just keep going. Keep going around. All right, so we're going to kind of start to make like a little bit of a bowl. Like this. To catch our roses in. Got my tool. Sometimes it's hard to see because the tool matches so well with this lace. All right, so we got about a quarter to go. But it doesn't matter. I mean, I think in some areas I'm probably got two inches instead of one, but it just doesn't matter. Still looks pretty with 
all the unevenness. Okay, so here I am. Now I want my needle to come out on the back side to gather this. So I'm gonna pull it through. All right, now I'm gonna kinda you know, pull it together, but not all the way because I've got to still put my roses in, but I need to make more of a little bowl so we don't have a big old mess. Okay, so I started with a 10 inch um, diameter. I'm about an inch to an inch and a half down. So the little um, bowl I have, I'm gonna fill it with a heaping half cup of these rose buds. That's what fits in there pretty well. So I got a half cup, put them in there. So um, you can fill it as much as you want. You just don't want it to be above your stitch line. So you wanna be able to pull this, which I'm gonna to have to move some of this around a little bit so it'll go all together. gathering up this closure. We want it to be nice and tight, so I have some that is not gathering up very well. Just make sure where that is. So I'm gonna pull it, there we go. Pull, 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 pull. Gently pull, because you don't want to break your thread. So I'm just pulling this away so I can see the opening and make sure nothing's caught in the opening because I want to make that opening. See that opening right there? I want to pull the fabric out of it and then I want to pull this closed as tight as I can to close up that opening so we don't have anything popping out of there. And so I'm going to hold that tight with my fingers and I'm going to go in and we are going to make a knot this, I love this long needle. It's really, really helpful for projects like this. So I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to go through the fabric. Not the fabric, the thread. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull that tight. And then I'm going to, I'm going to double knot that. So I feel better about it. Even though we are going to add ribbon, I really just want to make sure that is nice and secure. Okay. All right, so now we have this cute little pouch of rose petals. Isn't it adorable? And now we will add the ribbon. It smells amazing and it's just cute, pretty and easy and such a nice touch to a gift basket. So I decided to use some um, sari silk, but anything would work. Ribbon, seam binding, um, pretty yarn, whatever you have. So I'm just wrapping it around uh, the where I gathered it, tying a knot, and then clipping off the ends. Now you don't have to do it this way. You could just go ahead and tie a bow right there and it's cute as it can be. But I decided to uh, make some bows out of the same sari silk and I'm just gonna glue the bow directly to where I tied the knot around the gather. So I'm just gluing that on with some hot glue and then I am just going to uh, stick a little flower in the middle of the bow and it's just completely adorable. So after I have them all put together, I'm just popping on a little uh, tag that says rose sachet. I just used one of my punches to make the tag and then I attached it with a bulb pen. And um, I am making for my mom an unscented gift package. So what I am going to do is still create a sachet. I think they're so pretty. And I'm just gonna fill it with polyfill. And then whatever scent that she wants, she can just put a few drops. Like I think she does all right with vanilla. So she could just put some vanilla drops on it, but it'll still be cute and pretty in her gift um, package. So I just wanted to give that option for people who need to make 
things unscented uh, for some people like I do. So I hope you enjoy this little tutorial on these pretty little sachets and be sure to check out the uh, rest of the um, DIY gift ideas that are going in this self-care um, package. And I will put a link below to where I got the rosebuds um, so that you can uh, check that out and get some for yourself. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.